Hello everyone. In today's session, we will be seeing the rapid implementation sheet. Okay. In earlier session, we saw what is the enterprise structure. Today, we are going to define this enterprise structure via rapid implementation sheet and we'll upload this in our Oracle Fusion instance. Okay. First thing, what is a rapid implementation sheet? Okay. The reason it is called as a rapid implementation sheet because it gives you a rapid approach to upload the complete enterprise structure of your client in Oracle instance. Okay. If you do all the setups manually, it will take a lot of time compared to what you do it via rapid implementation sheet. And since this is an Excel based sheet, you can share this sheet with the client and you can ask them to fill up the data. Okay. So, let us understand what are the components of this rapid implementation sheet. Okay. So, when I, once you open this rapid implementation sheet, you will see there are multiple sheets in this. Okay. So, this is a workbook and here you have multiple components that needs to be defined. So, here you can say chart of account, calendar and ledger. Next is business unit, companies, accounts, financial sequences, departments, products. Okay. Now, first let us understand the chart of account structure for this demo that we are doing. Okay. So, for demo purpose, I have taken a corporation called a super corporation. It comprises of two company, super motors and super food. Okay. So, in this first sheet, we will be defining the chart of account structure. Okay. First, let us see the chart of account structure. Our chart of account structure consists of five segments. Okay. Out of this first three, company, department and account, these three you will see in all the implementations. You can say these three are mandatory. Apart from this, based on the requirement of the client, you define the additional segments. Okay. Now, these three segments have to be defined with a segment label so that Oracle understand what type of segment it is. Okay. Now, let us say company. So, we have to define it as a primary balancing segment. Department, department is our cost center segment. Our account, our account is a natural segment. One question that might come to your mind, why these segment labels are defined? Okay, I can leave them, let's say in product, we don't have any of the segment labels. Okay, the reason is these segments have a specific purpose. From your natural account, you have to define the account attributes like if it is an expense account, is it an asset account, is it a liability account, is it equity account? Okay, in primary balances segment, all your financial reports will be developed. Okay, so all your credits, all your debits has to be balanced with respect to each of the balancing segment. And your balances segments are your company. That's why this segment is called as primary balancing segment. Cost center segments are used by the company to you know take out the reports based on the different business processes like sales, marketing, HR, IT, admin. Okay, so all this type of components are defined under cost center segment. So, this is the chart of account structure of our implementation. So, generally you will see uh, around 7 to 8 segments in any implementation. Okay. Now, next thing that you see is the display width. What is the display width? It is the length of the values for this segment. Okay. It is the length of the values. Now, how to understand this? Let's open the company sheet. Okay, in company sheet, you can see I have uploaded the values for the company segment. Okay, so what is the length of this three? That's what I have defined here. It's a three length segment. Likewise, account is a five length segment. So if you will come here, account, you can see all my values are five digits. Okay, so my length of the natural account is five. So, this is the chart of account structure. Now, let us come to the ledger part. Okay. So, my ledger, I have named it as a super ledger. Since it is based out of India, the currency I have selected is INR. Okay. Period frequency monthly. So, uh, I would be, you know, uh, defining all my data and closing periods on a monthly basis. That's why I will say period frequency monthly. How many adjusting periods you need? Okay, so I am telling once at a year end. Okay, so in December, I would be having my 
one adjusting period to make any adjustment entries. And from which date I want to start the transaction in the system? Let's say I am taking as 1st January 2020. So post this date, I can start doing and accounting the transactions in my Oracle instance. Okay. Let us come to the company sheet first. Okay. Now, in the rapid implementation sheet, first thing, all your values are defined in the hierarchy. Okay. All your values are defined in hierarchy. That is child hierarchy. After that is a parent hierarchy. So you will have around nine parent level. Now parent child is the lowest. Above that comes parent one. Above that comes parent two. Above that comes parent three. Till it goes till parent nine. Okay. So whenever I do any reporting with respect to C99, it will have both my child values, company one and company two. So C99 is the enterprise. So I have named it as a super corp. And below this super corp, I have two entities which I was telling you earlier, super motors and super foods. So super motors is denoted with C01, super foods is denoted with C02. Okay, so this is my company name. This is my legal entity name. I have to define a unique identifier in which country they are based their addresses, their registration number. So what is the registration number with my tax authority? Everything you have to define it here. Okay. Once you define the legal entity, you can see the business unit. So my mapping is one to one. For one business unit, I have one legal entity. So business unit I have named with suffix bu and legal entity I have named with suffix l. So what it denotes, whenever I do any transaction with super motors BU, all my transactions will get accounted in this legal entity. And ultimately this data will be passed into my ledger. Okay. So if I come to the chart, you can see we are at the business unit level. From business unit, my transaction would be flowing into my ledger via legal entity. That's what we have defined here. Now natural account, natural account means what all type of accounts we have where we would be doing a transaction. Okay. So you can see this is my total assets one starting with 1999. Then I have my, you know, all type of uh, account types here. So my liability starts with two, my equity starts with three, my revenue starts with four. Okay, so this is how I am defining all my values here. Okay, now let's take example here. Total cash savings. So what it is telling? All the values in this account are my savings account. So when I take report with this value, it will be sum of all these five values. Okay, so this is the way parent and child relationship works. This helps in your reporting part. Okay. Now, I guess I have to do one correction here. So here is the correction net income net revenue. So let me change this value to. Four. Nine nine and here I will make it. Five nine nine. Okay. So all my expenses are starting with five, all my revenue starting with four, all my equity starting with three, all my liability starting with two, and all my assets are starting with one. That's how I have defined all my entities. Now in this sheet, you have to also define the financial category. The reason for defining financial category is this is the requirement of Oracle in case you have to do the reconciliation receivers to general ledger reconciliation, payable to general ledger reconciliation, Oracle will take the accounts based on the financial category. So this is my receivable account. And if I go to liability, you will even see my liability account. See, this is my accounts payable account. Okay. So that's how you have to define your financial category. Okay. And some additional information, if you want to mention, you can mention it here. Okay, so this is 
the concept of parental relationship like this you have to define account you have to define your department so department also i have defined you know around five departments sales and marketing finance it manufacturing warehouses all these are my child and if i go and take extract of the report from d99 it will give me values of all these transactions okay one additional segment i have defined for this company is the products okay because there are two type of companies in my super corporation one is in the motor industry one is in the food industry so i have defined the transition with respect to foods with respect to motors so they are into two wheelers four wheelers truck bus here you can see confectionery ready to cook items snack beverages so when i whenever i take my report with respect to p01 segment it will have all the data for the motor category same goes for p02 it will give me data for all the foods category okay now we have one sheet additionally that's called as financial sequences now what are financial sequences financial sequences are the values that are used by oracle to number the subledger transactions okay so whenever i am creating any invoice okay so oracle will generate a unique number for that in the table okay so the first transaction would be my one then any incremental transaction i had it will go on adding 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that so whenever we have to take any data or we have to do any troubleshooting we have this values defined there and for some companies it's even a legal requirement because you cannot delete any transaction okay so that's the reason we have the financial sequences defined one thing that oracle is asking is when you have to restart the counter so i am telling never the day i enter the transaction has to be first and any transactions after that has to be incremented 1 2 3 you don't have to restart and recreate any transaction with one in my future okay so you have the frequency either you can do it annually so based on your calendar oracle will again restart the counter from one here you can do it monthly oracle will restart the counter of one every month okay so this is how a rapid implementation sheet is defined now once your rapid implementation sheet is done what you have to do you have to validate this so you have to check the data authenticity and oracle will do additional validation so that you don't have to face any errors while uploading this sheet in the oracle instance okay so let us click on validate okay so what oracle is telling me validation is successful and no error found do you want to preview the sample report let's click on yes and see what report oracle is generating okay i guess it is facing some issue but that's fine okay now the step 2 is generate the chart of account file okay let us create this chart of account file okay now on the desktop i'll create a new folder super underscore demo okay and you can see chart of account dot zip oracle will generate a zip file let's save that let's say i want to create one more file so what i will do i will go into step 3 and here i will create my ledger legal entity and my business unit okay so what is in the first file in the first file we have the skeleton in the second file we have the data so once i upload my skeleton all my data would be going into my chart of account structure okay so let me see okay let's say i want to add any additional segment okay how to do that you have to just click on add segment sheet so you have to name new segment i am just showing it for demo purpose new segment let me name it ms and let's say it's a four segment four values segment so after entering this you have to click on add segment sheets and you can see one sheet is added and you have you have to define the values so oracle will give you this blank data and you have to fill in the data you have to first fill the child value then you have to give the description of all the values and after that you have to define the parent values okay so based on the 
type of reporting you need based on the type of aggregation the client wants to do you have to define the hierarchies here okay now let us go into oracle instance and try to upload this 